What's up, you beautiful people out there? Today, we're going to hit the easy button with application security for your cloud native environments on Kubernetes with Panoptica. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the Cisco DevNet Learning Labs to help us get started quickly and easily. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so right here, um, I have come to developer.cisco.com forward slash learning. Uh, I'll include this link in the description, but this is how we would get to our Panoptica Learning Lab for to do some amazing application security here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started learning. And so what that's going to do for us is it's going to also set us up an environment for our Kubernetes cluster. So we have this terminal in our browser, and this is all located right here in our browser window. So we don't have to have anything installed on our desktop. All the dependencies that we need are right here, so we can easily get started. Um, also, just a note that the Learning Lab and even the um, version of Panoptica I'm using is free to use. So you just have to sign up and start using and um, use this on the Learning Labs environment or your own environment. Okay, so another thing is I'm going to go through this pretty quickly. I'm not going to follow every step exactly and read everything out to you. You can do that yourself when you go through the lab. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to issue these terminal commands right here. Um, it's uh, What I'm going to do is hit this button and it's going to issue each of these commands in my Linux terminal. Um, download our Git repo and make sure all of our bash scripts are executable. That's done that. Great. So now let's go ahead and check on our Kubernetes cluster to see if everything's running. Looks like everything is running correctly. All the nodes are available. That's excellent. So let's see, make sure we're in the right context. Kind DevNet, that's right too. Awesome. And then let's check on our Terraform version because we're going to be using Terraform a little bit later as well to help with our provisioning. Looks like we're on 1.4.6. That's also excellent. So let's see. I'm going to open up this source file here, or source folder. And if I hit the refresh button, it might take a second, but it'll show the um, folder for the Git repo that we downloaded and that other command before. So that's excellent. So the next thing we need to do is we need to open that. And then we need to open this env.sh file here. All right, and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our access keys and our secrets in here from Panoptica. Um, so I'm already logged into my Panoptica uh, dashboard here, and I don't have any clusters provisioned already, so this is a fresh instance for me. But the first thing I need to do is I need to come down here to the um, system menu, and then I need to create a new user, and I'm going to create a service user, and I'm just going to call it DevNet. I'm going to click Finish, and then I'm going to use this right here, so I'm going to use this access key. Put it right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this secret key. Awesome. And then I'm going to put my email address in here. All right. And so this all saves automatically. I would suggest putting your real email in there, not someone at somewhere.com. If you do, you will have a chance to um, get some swag from Panoptica, I believe. So definitely put your email in there because everyone likes free swag. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and run this bash script here. And this is going to set up our environment variables for our entire terminal environment here. So we're going to execute in terminal. All right, great, it did that. So now we're going to verify everything was um, updated correctly. And it looks like if you get this verification successful, you can go ahead and move on. 
So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use Terraform to provision our Kubernetes cluster and link it up to our Panoptica instance in the cloud. So let's go to Panoptica here. We're gonna open up this main.tf. All right, now that we have our main Terraform file open, um, what we're going to do is we're going to add in this portion of code right here to provision our cluster with Panoptica. So we're gonna add that in there. So now you can scroll down here to the bottom and see that that's been added there. And then we're also gonna add this portion in here, which is going to help us um, with the our Yelp app that we'll be installing a little bit later on Kubernetes. So we're gonna go ahead and Copy that there, which it looks like it is done. Great. And so now we're gonna go ahead and initialize our Terraform and it's going to change directories in the Panoptica directory for us on our terminal. Which great, it did that. And so now let's go ahead and create our Terraform plan. So now we've executed that command there and let's go ahead and then apply our Terraform plan so we can link up our cluster, which we'll go ahead and check on right now before we get there. We're gonna to go to deployments. Doesn't show our cluster yet because we haven't executed our Terraform plan, but we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So once it starts creating that, it's going to basically set up all the um, applications on Kubernetes that are going to link to Panoptica and then uh, control and monitor our Kubernetes cluster for us and the applications we um, wish to issue policies on. So if we go here and we click refresh, we'll see that it's installing now. It's already recognized our cluster, that's great. All right, so we're just gonna wait here until this finishes up. All right, now that it's complete, let's go ahead and check on everything here. Looks like we have our port shift namespace, which is what we'll need to check on everything for Panoptica. And it looks like everything that's supposed to be running on here is running. The Cube Clarity, the port shift agent, which is what connects us to Panoptica. All right, great. Now let's just make sure our Istio cluster is also running, which it looks like Istio is running as well. So let's go ahead and move to the next page here. Now this is where we're going to install our Yelp app. And our Yelp app is a microservice application that mimics Yelp, sort of. Um, just kind of an open source uh, example for microservices that we use as an example here. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure we're in the right directory Directory we need to be in. And now what we can do here is if we wanted to, we can go ahead and look at the Yelp um, manifest file for Kubernetes. And this will basically show you everything that um, is going to be deployed once we apply this here. And so let's go ahead and do that now. Great, now our Kubernetes manifest has been executed. So now we can check on that. So we see our Yelp namespace has been created. Um, that's good. So if we come here, looks like our services look good. So we issued that command for kubectl there. It looks like our pods are initializing. So before we can open our Yelp app, we'll have to wait for that to sync up. So we'll just give that just one minute. All right, now that that's running, what we can do here is just like it's instructing us here to do, we can click this uh, suitcase button here and we can click this first link. This will actually be our Yelp app that's exposed publicly so we can access it. 
Great, looks like it's working. If we wanted to test it, we could say, hey, yeah, we want to vote for Chipotle. We love burritos, right? So it looks like it's um, working there. So it's using the APIs and everything, everything in our microservice to um, use this application. So one of the things we're going to do right now also is we're going to actually create a little traffic for our application, um, more so than if it was just us using it. Uh, we're going to use a command line application called Locust to do that. And we have a Locust file right here. So you can come check that out if you want. So let's go ahead and do that. You can see it's working there. Excellent. All right. And if we come back here and refresh, we can see it's really working. We already have almost 200 requests or total that have been voted on between these different restaurants here. So our application looks like it's working pretty well. All right. And then also, we'll take a step back. We'll come over back to Panoptica, go to Runtime. And then we can also see that we have all of our application and workloads. So it looks like they're being monitored already by Panoptica. That's great. Um, so now we can get into doing some of the fun stuff, which is issuing policy on these different applications as well. And on this next step, this is where we're going to learn how to do that. So what we can do here is we can come to policies. We can come to connection rules. And then we can actually click this policy advisor and then we can click run now. And so what's going to happen here is it's going to give us a bunch of policies that it thinks we should do um, to help better protect our application. Um, and give us better security. So what we're going to do here, instead of doing it this way though, so we could do this just right here in the dashboard, but we're going to use um, Terraform to help us execute our policy rules. So let's go back over here to our Learning Labs environment. And so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back to that main that Terraform file again. <laughs> And we're going to add some more code to the bottom of this file here. And it's basically um, the Terraform code for our different connection rules. So we're going to go ahead and issue that here. Say copy to editor. And so now those Panoptica connection rules are here. So the next thing we need to do, let's go ahead and exit out of this. So we're going to come to our terminal. We're going to um, use Control C together to exit the Locust application. Before we do, let's go ahead and check to see how many requests we got up to you. Wow, it's a lot of requests to, to that application. That's great. All right, so now we have our, we, we're out of that application, we're back here. Um, we need to make sure our terminal is in the right spot. So what we're gonna do is when we issue this command, it's gonna um, change directories back into the Panoptica directory. And it's going to then recreate our Terraform plan since we have added these um, these rules to our Terraform plan to be deployed. So we're going to execute that in terminal. Now our Terraform plan is updated. So now we're going to go ahead and apply that here. And it's applying that right now. And so if we come back here and check on it, we can actually hit refresh and you can see our rules have been applied and basically this is telling our Kubernetes cluster to only allow connections either from specific pods within um, our Kubernetes cluster basically other applications um, which applications can access which services and even if external traffic can access other services. So it's issuing policy to help protect each of those services for our microservice application. All right, and it's about 
to be finished up with that. And as soon as that finishes up, we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that that's wrapped up, we can actually move on to cleaning up our cluster here. And that's what we're going to do. So now that you've made it to the end of uh, the getting started with Panoptica and your application security, um, let's go ahead and be a good steward of what we're using here in these resources and go ahead and get those cleaned up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use Terraform to um, basically destroy all of that and to remove it. So we're going to go ahead and execute the Terraform for that. Just doing that. And you can actually go ahead and see it here. If I go ahead and hit refresh, my connection rules policies will be deleted, which is great. So we just have to wait on it to remove our cluster, which it's still working on. And it'll let us know when it's done with that. All right, so now let's check on, make sure our cluster is destroyed. Awesome, that's perfect. But we're not quite finished, especially since you can see everything I'm doing here. I need to come in here and delete this uh, user since you know what my token and service uh, service key are. So we need to go ahead and delete that so you can't go use my Panoptica um, service right here. And so that's all deleted. And so now you're ready to go. What you can do now is actually take it further by going to um, go, using the learning lab again, but maybe using it in your own Kubernetes environment. So I suggest that, or if you would want to go ahead and redo the lab for extra learning, a little bit of repetition never hurts. And you can go and do that now. Thank you for sticking with us. And we looking, we're looking forward to seeing you soon.